President William Ruto has said the government is expanding the Nairobi commuter railway services to address the traffic congestion in Nairobi Metropolitan. The president said the project will give Kenyans affordable and reliable transport solutions. He said the government has secured funds for the revitalization of transport infrastructure projects in Nairobi, among them Ruta Gong Kisarian Ongata Rongai Computer Rail. He noted that the rail will reduce the cost of transport within the city by half, contributing to the overall reduction in the cost of living. He made the remarks on Friday during the launch of the construction of the 12.5 kilometer Ruta Gong Commuter Rail line that will run through Ruta, Karan, Bulbul, and Gong stations. The head of state say the rail will be completed within eight months. Present to our Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa, Cabinet Secretary Kipchumba Murkomen, Kajano Governor Joseph Olelenko, members of Parliament and MCS. The President said the government is implementing such projects to create jobs for youths. But uh, we are also a beneficiary of this railway with the Tutakuana station Hapo Karen. And we want the contractor and the whole team to have a continuous public participation in our trade to our current. Nataka ni kuambie hii project ambayo umeleta hapa, ambayo ulisema kabla tukue kwa uchaguzi na ulituzungumzia wakati moja. It has no objection from the people of Kajiado and specifically Kajiado North. Watu wengi wanangojea kusafiri kwa bei nafu na hii msongamano ya mabarabara, hii really itasaidia mahali pakubwa kusuluhisha. Your Excellency... Unajua ulipofika ofisi kazi ya kwanza ulifanya ni kutuokoa kwa ile Nairobi Railway City. Unajua ile financing ilikuwa kwa, kwa, kwa UK government ilikuwa karibu irudishwe. Wewe mwenyewe uliongea na Prime Minister wa UK mkiwa Shamal Sheikh na ukahakikisha umetuita pamoja. Sasa tunamalizia master plan ya Nairobi Railway City inaisha mwezi huu. Mwaka kesho kutoka Januari ambaye ni wiki chache iko mbele tutaanza ujenzi ya Nairobi master plan. Na ile plan yako ya kuhakikisha vijana wetu waandikwe kazi during the construction period will now be a reality. We know it is our obligation to work together to develop the country. Na vile mwe mzee moja litueleza siyasa mbaya maisha mbaya, hatuaki maisha mbaya, siyasa mzuri ni kushikana pamoja na kujenga taifa letu la Kenya. So your excellency tunafurai sana tukiwa na wewe. Maendeleo mengi andaendelea kajado, wana kajado tumesungumzia maneno mengi mazuri ambaye mweshimua raisa atakuja kuwaeleza vile tumemuomba. Na pia hata sehemu yetu ya kitengela kwamba itasingatiwa katika maneno ya reli kwa sababu reli ni njea kuraisisha usafiri. And 45 inaendelea kuteremuka. Sindio? Mafuta ndiyo hiyo ilikuwa imepanda. Simeaza kuteremuka? Raiza alisema hii maneno ni kupanga. Unajua, njini munajua. Hii uchumi wa Kenya ni kama mgonjo wa kiwa hospitali. Tulipo ingia pale tulikuta huu mgonjwa wa Kenya economy akiwa ICU akiwa hali maututi amewekwa mashini kila pahali figo haifanye kazi iko mashini roho iko nini sasa yule daktari alishindwa daktari amekuja mpya anaitwa rais William Ruto amekuja ameudaunda mashini moja imetolewa roho imeanza kupiga ile ya figo imetolewa imeanza kufanya kazi Mashini yote imetolewa, ametoka ICU, ameenda HDU. Amekaa hapo mwezi sita, ametoka, ako kwa ward. Sasa amechukuliwa weight, imeanza kuongezeka. Appetite ya kukula iko mzuri. Anaongea. Sasa huyu mgonjwa si yako tayari kwenda nyumbani? Sasa ingekuaje mgonjwa atoke ICU the same day aende nyumbani? Inawezekana? Si iko stage ya mgonjwa ya kupona? Mimi nataka kuhakikishia nyinyi Uyu mgonjwa wetu ataendelea vizuri. Na hivi karibuni ataenda nyumbani ameze dawa akiwa nyumbani. Na hata akifika nyumbani hata ameza dawa muda mrefu. Mwezi tatu, mwezi sita aanze kurudi kwa shamba kufanya kazi. Raisa langangana hangangani. Na mimi niseme, let us work. Hii reli ni ya muhimu kwa sababu tunataka kupunguza garama ya usafiri. Katika kupunguza gharama ya maisha, tunapunguza gharama ya chakula, tunapunguza gharama ya usafiri, tunapunguza gharama ya rent, njotu wakikisha ya kwamba overall, tumeakikisha ya kwamba tuna...
kupanga vile gharama ya maisha inakuja chini. Hii reli vile mumesikia ile nauli mnalipa kwenda Karen kwenda town itapunguzwa by 50% na hii reli. Na ndio sababu leo tumekuja hapa kuianzisha. Na nimeambia waziri na watu yake ya kwamba hii reli ikamilike ndani ya miezi nane. Iwe imekamilika. Kwa sababu najua inawezekana wameniambia 12 months lakini nimewaambia hizo 12 months amejakuja hapa kufanya utalii. Mmekuja hapa kujenga reli. Ama namna gani? Kwani hawa watu ni watalii? So hii reli tunataka tuikamilishe ndani ya miezi nane mimi nataka nirudi hapa na vile vile nimewaamurisha watafute wagons ili reli ikuwa tayari wananchi waingie waweze kwenda kusafiri tumesema tunaweka station hapo Karen tunaweka station hapa Bulbul tunaweka station nyingine kule Riruta ndio wananchi waweze kutumia hiyo reli na vile vile Nime, nilienda Marekani tumekubaliana na rais wa Marekani watatupatia pesa ya kupanga infrastructure ya uh, transport katika city yetu ya Nairobi tayari wametupatia pesa bilioni tisa ya kupanga hiyo kazi na kati ya mambo tutafanya ni kusongesha hii reli kutoka hapa iende mpaka Kiserian na itoke Kiserian iende mpaka Ngong na itoke Ngong iungane pale Eh, Bomas of Kenya iende ishikane pale Nyayo Stadium ndio tuunganishe hii sehemu yote turaizishe usafiri ya wale wanaosafiri kutoka sehemu hii. Hii reli itasafirisha watu elfu kumi kila siku. Prime Cabinet Secretary Musale Mudavadi has expressed a need for China and Kenya to work hard and utilize every opportunity to take their strategic partnership to higher levels. Mr. Mudavadi, who is also the Cabinet Secretary for Foreign and Diaspora Affairs, say the two countries to achieve their desired goals, they needed to embrace integrity-based cooperation and green development that meets the demands of the current generation while securing a sustainable future. The Prime Cabinet Secretary who spoke during a reception marking 60 years of friendship between the two nations, acknowledged the differences between the two countries, but emphasized their shared aspiration for rapid modernization and industrialization. Mudavadi has praised China for its transformative initiatives in Kenya and Africa, citing the comprehensive strategic partnership between the two nations as having a positive impact on the socio-economic sectors of Kenya. He cited... The recent official visit to China by President William Ruto as one of the numerous high-level visits that underscores the importance of the two countries' bilateral and people-to-people -people relations. Take the 60th anniversary as a new starting point to explore a distinctive path of cooperation in our respective pursuit of national development and uh, reju rejuvenation continuously enrich our comprehensive strategic cooperative partnership and jointly build an even closer china Kenya community with a shared future in the new era. China is committed to forging a more comprehensive partnership with Kenya. China supports Kenya's independent exploration of its own path of modernization in line with the country's actual situation. China stands ready to work with Kenya to put into action the Global Development Initiative, the Global Security Initiative, the Global Civilization Initiative, and implement the outcomes of the Berlin Road Forum and the FOCAC meetings so as to better support Kenya's Vision 2030 and the bottom-up economic transformation agenda. But Our two nations have maintained good cooperation in international and regional issues, Kenya and China both attach great importance to upholding the purposes and principles of the UN Charter, equitable and fair multilateralism, and the promotion of unhindered trade relations between nations. Kenya is unapologetic in its support for the One China policy which is grounded on respect for sovereignty and territorial integrity. We shall work 
together with China and other friendly nations to address the complex and intersecting global challenges of our time, ranging from peace and security in the region, climate change-induced crisis, and food security.